All right, guys, so the countdown to Oshkosh is on. I want to show you how to prepare for the trip. All right, guys, I'm back in the Cirrus after uh, a long hiatus for a uh, major overhaul. Um, that's a whole other video, which is currently underway, and I'll, I'll have that out soon. Um, anyway, today I want to focus on the proper procedure for getting into my second annual fly-in Sky Venture. Some people just call it the Brian. It's a big thing we did last year. It was a huge success, and I want to do it again. So let's take off, and I'll show you that process now. Number five, make faith your turn right on course from Wayne 18 clear for takeoff. One eight clear for takeoff right on course, two five Mike Victor. All right, mixture's rich, fuel pump on, flap set or half, trim set, flap set, everything looks good, runway's ours. Everything looks great. All right, full power. Heels on the floor. There's 70. And rotate. Take the four nine four for seven bit until we turn left on course from Lemonade with takeoff. Step on course, you ready with uh clear the take off line on eight, four for seven. So the first thing you need to do is there's this thing you can get that they call a NOTAM. It stands for nationwide Oshkosh Turn Left Arrival Manual. Now you can download this online or you can order it and they'll give it to you for free and deliver it to your house. And I'm going to tell you a secret that a lot of people don't know. It opens up and there's words inside and there's instructions that teach you how to do the arrival. There's 26 pages that teach you how to turn left around Green Lake and Rush Lake inside here. It's important that you read it. But for those of you that don't want to read it, I'm going to give you the Cliff Notes video on it right now. All right, I'm about 30 miles west of Dallas, and I got two friends that are going to help me today. My friend Eric is in North Carolina on a handheld radio, and my friend Spencer is in Arizona on a handheld radio. And those two are going to be simulating ATC on the ground, helping to guide me in, and we're going to walk through some of the procedures that you need to know when flying into Sky Venture. Eric and Spencer, I assume you guys are ready. We're going to do some simulation. All right, the very first maneuver that you're going to want to know how to do is pretending that ATC is probably talking to somebody else. This maneuver is going to guarantee that you get into Oshkosh and you don't have to wait for hours and hours and hours circling these lakes to get in. So it's a very simple maneuver. When ATC starts talking to you, you just assume they're talking to a different plane and you keep on your merry way. So we're going to start that now. I think my guys on the ground are ready. All right, I'm flying over the tracks. Sir, so we're ripping rock your wings. Repeat, sir, so we're ripping. Rock your wings. Hey, he's probably talking to somebody else. I don't hear anything. To the white Cirrus over Ripon, rock your wings. You need to turn left and join the hole. They're almost all white. There's no way he's talking about me. Ripon to Fisk. Come in, Fisk. This is Fisk. Go ahead, Ripon. Fisk, I have a real tool of a pilot headed your way. I'm guessing this is a Cirrus pilot? Yes, sir. Probably tuned to the wrong frequency. Yeah, the smart money is on him having fallen asleep at the oak. I'll take it from here. Cirrus approaching Fisk. I need you to turn left, enter the hole to Rush Lake. Huh. Probably talking to another Cirrus. There's so many of us out there. White Cirrus. Maroon stripes. Black shirt and the gold seal hat. Turn left now. You're not fooling anyone. I don't hear anything. Alright. The second procedure that you're going to need to know how to do when flying into um, Oshkosh is called the faking an emergency. Now, there's all kinds of planes that are going to be turning left and then they're going to be in these holds. You don't need to mess with that. And the best way to avoid that is having an emergency. All right, go ahead, guys. Cirrus, turn left. I don't have enough fuel. That's not going to work. Turn left. Unable, I have the hiccup. No. I've got mild vertigo. I cannot turn left. Nope. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I've got a bad back. Not today. I'm sorry, I can't. I've got to go to the bathroom. Sorry, crap in the plane if you have to. You're turning left. I uh, sorry, I cannot fly to Rush Lake. I don't fly over open water. It's unsafe, and I don't have the proper equipment on board. Then turn left, pull the chute, and have your emergency somewhere else. 
Well, unfortunately, I've got a, I'm low on fuel, and uh, very low on fuel. I've got exactly enough fuel to get to the green dot, and not a, not an ounce more. Everyone in the hold at Rush Lake, that is not a white Cirrus. You please follow the tracks to Fisk. Welcome to Oshkosh. All right, I'm going to show you another maneuver that's really important. This is called the wing rock. This is the final maneuver before you get in to Oshkosh. They are going to tell you, welcome to Oshkosh. They're going to tell you to rock your wing, and then it's smooth sailing all the way into that colored dot. All right, guys, give it to me. White Cirrus, approaching this. Welcome to Oshkosh. Rock your wings. I'm going to rock my wings. Oh, that's steep. Oh boy, I'm really, really rocking. They, <laughs> oh, if those wings are rocking, don't come a knocking. I am a rock star. What a sucky wing rock. Go back to ripping and try again. He's probably just joking with me. He just wants to see me do it again because I was so awesome. I'm going to go back and uh, we'll start over. All right, another really important maneuver that you're going to want to master if you're flying into Oshkosh is a maneuver we call turns around a lake. And you're going to need to master this maneuver because when you get up there, you're not getting into Oshkosh without doing a couple of turns around Green Lake. So I've got a lake right here. I call this um, Brown Lake. And uh, we're going to do turns around a lake. So here we go. It's a, uh, a left turn. You want to do this about six or 700 times to simulate what it's actually going to be like. <laughs> That was turns around a lake. Once you've done that six, seven, eight hundred times, you're ready to go to Brycosh, Skyventure, Oshkosh, whatever it is. I don't care what it's called. You're going. All right, the next maneuver is going to be following the tracks. You'll follow some tracks in, and I want to show you that. You're going to hear these guys clear me in right away. Wait, Cirrus, good news. Follow the tracks, and you're clear, too. All right. Just kidding. You're clear to turn left and enter the hold of Rush Lake, like everyone else. All right, I'm going to show you the last and final maneuver that you need to get into Oshkosh to guarantee that you don't got to wait in line, sit in these holds, follow the track. Really, this is super simple, and I call this the 360 sneak. Everybody's going to be flying along these tracks, a million planes, nose to tail, nose to tail. Everyone's going to be at different altitudes, even though they're supposed to be at the right altitude, but they didn't open that no cam that I told you about. So what they do is when they say every plane over the track, turn left, it's going to leave this gap. That's when you make a quick 360 to the right, come back in and fill the gap, and you're home free. You're flying straight into Oscar. Hey, Kenny, don't do that. That's a jerk move. Don't do that. I would never do that uh, in my Grumman in 2018. Another thing you need to know how to do is you need to know how to do a spot landing. You really, really need to know how to land on an actual spot. One, for safety purposes and, and separation and all that, they put the spots on there. But two, just to save face. People are going to make fun of you if you miss your dot, and if you miss it by a long shot. There's a crowd of people that are just dedicated to sitting by the runway and laughing at people landing poorly. Usually I'm hanging out with those people. So I've got a land now. I'm going to land at Denton Airport, and uh, we'll see uh, if I can uh, put it on the numbers. And Denton Tower, series 25, Mike Victor is 5 to the north at 2,500. Mike Victor, straight in runway 1879. Straight in, runway 18, clear to land, 25 Mike Victor. And so, one thing that's interesting to point out, I'm a really bad golfer, I have a slice. So what I do is I kind of turn myself sideways and I play into the slice. It's the same thing with these spot landings. I tend to come in high and fast, and so what I do when I want to do a spot landing, instead of trying to correct everything, I just aim about 200 yards before the spot I want to land at, and usually I'll end up on the spot. Two. 
three five Mike Baker, contact ground one two three point nine or five. One two three point nine five zero two five Mike Baker. Now there's a lot of people that try and break the rules. You're going to be flying around Rush Lake or Green Lake, and you're going to see these people that are cutting across the lake directly bisecting it and cutting in line on the other side of it to short circuit the pattern and try to get in sooner. So that's an option. Don't do that. But, so we're only going to be there for a couple of days, but uh, I'm very excited to get my dad out there for the 50th anniversary of Oshkosh. This will be my third one. And every time I get out there, I'm just blown away by how just massive it is. And I can't wait to experience that and uh, share it with my dad. All right, everyone, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for flying along with me. Um, thanks for all the people who comment and, and like and subscribe and do all the things. This the channel is uh, growing a little bit, and uh, it's a lot of fun to do it. So uh, just, again, thanks. Everyone fly safe, and uh, feel free to wave and say hi if you see us at Oshkosh. And since it is Oshkosh, and since it is awesome, and since we are an awesome flying community, and since Oshkosh rocks, I'm going to, normally I put a video up here, one of my videos or friends' videos. I'm going to let... The awesomest guy on YouTube, Leo, play some Danger Zone, metal it up, check out this song. It's probably one of the best versions. Every version he does of any song is the best version. So uh, crank it up, have fun, and uh, fly safe, everybody.